morning receptionist, Miss Lewis here and it's time for our phonics session. We're going to start by flashcarding all our phase three sounds. For our single sounds we'll do my name is and for our digraphs or trigraphs we'll just say the sound. So here we go. My name is J and my sound is J. My name is Z and my sound is Z. My name is Y and my sound is Y. My name is V and my sound is V. My name is W and my sound is W. My name is X and my sound is X. E. U or U. O. Sh. Qu. Z. Or z, a, ng, a, i, and back to j. Well done. Now we're going to learn a new sound today, and our new sound today is or. Here it is. It's a digraph, and it's the letters o and the letter r that stick together like glue that make the sound or. Can you have a go at that with me? Or. One more time. Or. Fantastic. Now I'm going to sound out some words and I want you to blend them back together and say them back to me. Okay, I've got some on my board to help us, but we'll talk about those in a minute. So your first word is, let's sound it out, listen carefully. K. Or. N. Corn. Well done. Let's have a go at another one. Listen carefully and blend it back together. Fork, fork. Brilliant job. Now let's have a go at reading some words with the or sound in it. I've got some on my pieces of paper and we'll do it all together. Here we go. B, or, n, born. Sh, or, t, short. Or n torn. Fantastic, well done, that was super reading. Now you can see on my board I've got lots and lots of or words. I would like you today to see if you can make me a poster. Okay, you can put or in the middle just like this. So do it at the top. Or you can put it in a little bubble if you want to. And then I'd like you to draw some pictures around it with some things that have the or sound in it. Now, to give you a bit of a helping hand, I've written some or words on my board. So, oh, we've got k, or, n, corn, like sweet corn, or the hen pecks the corn. Fork, fork, as in a knife and fork. I eat my dinner with a knife and fork. K, or, k, cork. You find a cork in the top of a bottle sometimes. Sh, ought, short. He was short and I was tall. P, ork, pork. I like to eat roast pork on a Sunday. Pork. So can you have a go at making a nice little poster for me? You can draw lots of pictures and see if you can have a go at writing some words with or. You can pause the video so you've got these words to help you and a grown-up will help you read them if you need to. And have a go at sounding them out. When you're done, press play again and we'll have a go at writing a sentence all together. Okay, so I'm going to rub off my board and you can make your poster. And then when you press play, we'll be ready to go. So now we're going to have a go at writing a sentence. Now your sentence today is the chick pecks the corn. Let's say it together. The chick pecks the corn. One more time. The chick pecks the corn. It's five words. So let's say it one more time and make sure we have all the words in our head. The chick pecks the corn. Well done. Now you can pause and have a go at writing that on your own if you want to, or if you want to do it with me, that's fine too. Okay, so I can see that our, here that our first word is the, tricky word the, T-H-E spells the. Now I need to remember that at the beginning of my sentence I need to have a capital 
letter. So I'm going to have a go first. I'm going to do my capital T. T H E. T H E spells the. The. Now my next word is the chick. I'm going to sound it out carefully so I hear all the sounds. Ch. I. K. Chick. Chick. So I need a finger space between my words and I'm going to have a go at writing chick. First of all, I need my ch digraph. The C and the H together make the ch sound. The ch, i, ch, i, k, chick, ch, i, k. Now on the end, it's the C, K digraph in chick. If you had to go by yourself and you got it wrong, don't worry. Just rub it out or put a line through it and have another go. It doesn't matter. Ch, i, k. There it is, I've got the CK, the chick, pex. Now I'm going to sound it out. P, e, k, s, pex, pex. Now the first sound I can hear is the sound P. And the letter P makes a sound P. Making sure my P sits lower, the tail sits under the line because it's a descender. The chick, pex, P, e, and again, it's that pesky CK diagraph. There's no way of knowing in words, but if it's a K near the end of a word, it's quite often the CK diagraph, but sometimes it's just the K on its own. So we need to be careful, and it doesn't matter because there's no way of knowing. You just have to practice, and you just have to learn which one it is. P -e C and the K. P -e -k -s. Now I've got that pesky C on the way on the end that sometimes we mistake for a z the chick pex and then i need the again so i need my finger space this time i'm not going to do that with a capital letter because i'm not at the start of my sentence i'm in the middle of my sentence so i don't want those pesky capital letters sneaking in the chick pex t h e the corn and we've been practicing the or diagraph today here it is again if you want to have a look at it with the o and the r Corn, k on. That's k. It's the curly k there. The c. K o. And on the end, you just have the n sound. K o n. And at the end, you need to put a full stop. Can you see my full stop in there? Just about there it is. So I want you to check it back now. Have you got it? all there have you got all the words have you heard all the sounds give yourself a tick or a smiley face if you have give yourself a tick and a smiley face even if you haven't it doesn't matter the, the most important thing is that you try your best so well done and we'll see you very soon all right bye